Welcome to Premium Beat. My name is Rubidium. Today we're going to look at creating a ray gun effect, a disintegration in After Effects. Science fiction is a lot of fun and definitely one of my favorite genres. Nothing quite says science fiction like having someone shot with a ray gun and disappear in a puff of dark energy. Today we're going to look at how to create this effect in After Effects without any special plugins or extra software. Let's jump in. Here we are in After Effects. I have a new composition which is 1920 by 1080. I have a green screen clip of me reacting to being shot by a laser gun. I have a science fiction explosion um, from Shutterstock that you could do your own one either procedurally in After Effects or you could uh, record some ink in water or all kinds of ways to do that. And then I also have the background image of a lab. So the first thing I'm going to do is drag that into my composition, to my onto my timeline, and I'm going to scale this down so you can see what it is. Then I'm going to drag in my green screen clip on top of that, and you can see it lasts a couple seconds longer. It's only four seconds long, and the composition is six seconds, seven seconds. Uh, but that means we can just sort of have an extra length of time after I've disappeared. Now I'm going to put my explosion on top of me and you can see that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to go over here and select Unmult. It's in Animation Presets Image Utilities Alpha from Lightness and I just drag that onto my explosion and now my explosion is the black has been turned to an alpha layer. The next thing I'm going to do is in these presets put on a displace displacement map. So I'm going to drag that down to my green screen footage. See right away it started to look a bit weird. Now here are the, here are the um, parameters for my displacement map. I'm going to set this to the exploder and I'm going to set this horizontal displacement to red and the other one vertical displacement to blue. I'm going to make them about both about 30. The vertical displacement I'll make 5. Now if I turn off my my uh, ray you'll see that underneath it's using the color of the ray to actually make my face distorted. And you see even here in the fingers it's starting to dematerialize which already is starting to look pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is add a mask onto here. So I'll go up, I'll hold down on my rectangle tool and get a ellipse tool. And I'll find where this, where I can see the circle generally and draw a mask. Now what I'll do, the mask appears in my drop down. So in the um, opacity, oh sorry, in the mask expansion, I'll click a little the little timer here to put a keyframe in. I'll go backwards and minus it so it disappears. Then I'll go forwards and plus it so that I'm expanding at the same rate as the shock waves traveling through. Then I'll turn around and invert it. So I just have to play with this expansion so that the expansion isn't a circle, it travels with the movement. You might find that uh, this is um, a constant expansion and the uh, your effect might not be, so you might want to add extra keyframes to keep the expansion in the, um, in the area that's been distorted. So that, that looks pretty cool. Close my mask. Now I can turn my exploder back on. Problem now is, is that the uh, expansion sort of stops around there. So that's, that's the most distortion I'm going to get. So what I might do is go back to my mask, make this the widest point, and then uh, here in the effects, I will just key the opacity 
And after that, I'll just fade the whole thing. Whoops. I'll fade the whole thing down. Happen a little bit quicker. Now what I'll do is add duplicate my layer by pressing Command D. Put this underneath the green screen clip. Go up to my effects here and type invert. Drag that onto my second lower exploder. And what I'll do is pull this forward so that now my black explosion is behind my body. That's looking pretty cool. Now what I might do is go back to my green screen clip, add a light effect. Like a light burst. So what's controlling that effect is the ray length. Now if, if as I start to get shot, I'll key the ray length can go in here and it can get wider as it goes out. Put this at 30. It'll take a while to render through, but you can see now it looks like the body, the body's being torn apart as these things are going through. I may just turn up the intensity as well. I think that looks pretty good for a 10 minute tutorial so here you go we have just to review we have i'll solo these layers we have our light burst on top we have the green screen which has a displacement map and a light burst and a, an expanding mask and a bottom inverted version of the I'll have to turn this one on so you won't see, or you won't see it. Inverted version of the same um, sci-fi effect with about a four or five layer delay. I hope you enjoyed that look at creating a ray gun disintegration in After Effects. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.